Unfortunately, due to some limitations of my laptop, I cannot track live and screen capture it at the same time. So I've pre-recorded a guitar track and some drum tracks. To prep for our guitar track, select Analog In 1 and 2 and Stereo because I'm just recording one guitar track. I want to make sure that my metronome is on and I'm going to go up to Mix and be sure that my recording count-in is on. Now we're ready to track. Here's the guitar track that I recorded. Let's take a listen. In the videos on recording virtual instruments, we saw how, with MIDI, we were able to take our virtual instruments and turn them into almost any instrument that we wanted. With our guitar track, we won't be able to change it into bagpipes, but we can do some extraordinary things using the amp modeling plugins that come with Mixcraft. First, let's go to track 1 and click on this button labeled FX for effects. In the effects drop-down menu, Let's go down and select Shred Amp Simulator. Now you'll notice it has a preset and an edit button. If we go to preset, we can view and select any of these presets. Right now it's set to Marvel Crunch, but if we go and click our edit button, it brings up a software representation of a guitar amp. Okay, let's play our same guitar track using this Marvel Crunch. Let's try a different preset. We go up to our drop down menu. Let's go down and select 12 bar blues. Notice that the amp changed. It represents an amplifier that has more notoriety for its tone quality with blues guitar. Let's go back up and change it to something else. How about jazz lead? So here we see a representation of a different amp. Again, no matter what amp you are using, you can set a number of different parameters. And you can see those running across the top of the amplifier. Down here, we can set where the microphone is in relation to the cabinet from 100% room to the room completely bypassed. Above that you can change your cabinet. Now depending on the amp you'll have more or less selections. Over here is your room selection. By clicking these arrows you can change the shape of the room. And down here at adjust room you can change the room size, the flooring type, and the wall coverings. Right now it's a 15 by 15. Let's change it to a 20 by 20. Ceramic tile, let's change it to linoleum. And wall coverings, it's aluminum siding. Let's change it to draperies. You also have your bypass function so you can listen to before and after sounds. So let's listen to our sound while making some of these adjustments.
This is a very powerful tool if you're tracking guitar. And one last point, even though you can change the sound of your guitar, please keep in mind what sound you're going after while playing your guitar part. Next, let's take a listen to some live drums that we tracked. <laughs> 